Aoyama is a beautiful city from its downtown tree-shaded canals to the majestic northern Japan Alps towering directly behind the city. With 70% of its land in forest, Toyama offers trekking, abundant wildlife, and the symbol of the region, the Raicho, the Japanese rock ptarmigan. Toyama is a city rich in tradition. Here, the 500 Buddhist Arhat statues of the sublime Chokeji Zen Temple meditate over the Toyama Plain and the Japan Sea. From surfing on Toyama Bay to paragliding in the clear air of the Japan Alps foothills to naturalist-led hikes where one might happen upon a Japanese serao, Toyama offers stunning vistas and intimate connections to nature. The life cycle of Toyama begins in the winter in the 3,000 meter or 10,000 foot high northern Japan Alps. Here, the world's highest recorded snowfall holds life-giving water in its cold embrace. Spring loosens the snowy bonds and pure mountain streams gather to become the home of native fish before flowing down to irrigate the plentiful rice fields of the Toyama Plain. Where the golden rice is harvested in the fall. The rivers then flow through the city center and into the pristine waters of Toyama Bay. Where the rich oxygen of the deep cold waters combines with the mineral rich river water, producing the perfect breeding ground for an astonishing 156 species of fish and shellfish which are caught here. The thick vegetation of Toyama's foothills are home to vast beech and cedar forests reaching to the sky. Toyama's ecologically friendly foothills offer numerous parks and natural settings, which become clothed in autumn's spectacular display of Japanese maples. This is a nature-friendly and therefore a human-friendly city. Nihonjo スイタイしていったり廃止になったりして来たベクト長いベクトルの中であえてもう一度そこに投資をして街の中にロメン電車のループサークルを作るというようなアプローチは国内においては非常にユニークだったわけですそのことに加えて自転車の共同利用するパリ
Toyama has designed its award-winning compact city transportation system in four stages. In 2006, an LRT line was constructed to the coast. In 2009, a loop line tram was built in the city centre. Then the tram lines were connected to the local rail lines. Finally, the central railway station was elevated, allowing the tram lines to connect underneath the train lines. The loop line provides a circular route around the city centre. Trams leaving from under the central rail station can take passengers from the bullet train or local rail lines to the Castle, Convention Centre, Grand Plaza or Glass Art Museum. しかし先んじてこういう課題に取り組み始めた 12、3 this gives Toyama a pedestrian-friendly downtown centered around the new glass art museum designed by the eminent Japanese architect Kengo Kuma with native wood panels in the interior. The building houses a permanent glass art installation by the famed American artist Dale Chihuly as well as the city library. Toyama citizens pitch in to keep the city beautiful. The mayor and vice mayor might be seen participating in a cleanup campaign. Even senior executives in the city will clean up outside their corporate headquarters. <laughs> Citizens neatly stack their garbage at local collection areas. Old newspapers are tied up in bundles and glass bottles are separated by color. The Toyama slogan is, garbage when mixed, valuables when separated. This makes it easier for the professional garbage pickup and reduces the energy used for recycling when glass is separated by color. Recycling aluminum cans, which saves large amounts of energy, is also made easier by separating out aluminum cans for separate delivery to waste management plants. The cans are packaged neatly in cubic stacks like artwork. Discarded bicycles and appliances are repaired by elderly citizens to bring new joy to new owners. Another key to Toyama's advanced waste management system is Echo Town, an industrial park where waste is repurposed by private companies. Here, there are several waste to energy facilities. One company turns wood waste into charcoal. At another company, Waste is specially burned pollution-free to power steam turbines to produce electricity. One ingenious Toyama company turns waste into energy for agriculture. Not only is electricity produced, but after incineration, the heat is itself transferred in special containers to greenhouses. Here, with a 95% reduction in fossil fuel use and a 53% reduction in electrical use, vegetables and flowers are produced year-round. To keep its large forest area healthy, Toyama carefully trims out excess or damaged trees. The leftover wood is converted into wood pellets, which become a cozy fire for family gatherings in the winter. The Mayor's Kintaro Club addresses another environmental waste, abandoned farmland. Mm -hmm. 
Working in the Yamada agricultural area, a new agricultural crop is key to reclaiming this land. Egoma is a mint family plant which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids prized for its health benefits. The harvested seeds are pressed to produce egoma oil for commercial use as a healthy additive to foods. Another ecological project is to bring fresh produce directly into the downtown area. The Sogawa Shopping Arcade Market serves downtown residents and city visitors alike. In its commitment to zero CO2, Toyama is actively pursuing alternative energy solutions such as solar panel arrays. え、ね、農業用水などを使って発電ということも盛んにやっている。環境未来都市の果たすべき使命の中に国内の技術の海外移転ということもあるわけです。ですからそれは富山市として何ができるかと考えたときにやっぱり少水力発電技術というものを電力供給